Tonight, Action News Jax is digging into the threats our teachers face. We teamed up with our eight sister stations across the country to survey thousands of educators about violence against them, and what we found was staggering. Action News Jax investigator Emily Turner dug into what these numbers mean for teachers, students, and education in Florida. Yeah, I mean, shortly, the answer is nothing good. We surveyed more than 2,500 educators just in Florida, and some told us their stories. Our data and our clinical research show violence against teachers is on the rise and the ramifications of that affect everyone in education. This is Joan Nadich and this attack left her with five broken ribs, a concussion and hearing loss. Brendan Depp's actions on that day has caused me to lose a job that I had for almost 19 years, have lost my financial security, lost my health insurance, lost the ability to take care of myself like I used to. She was a teacher in Flagler County when this 17 year old special needs student slammed her to the ground and knocked her unconscious last year. Brendan Deppa pleaded no contest to a first degree felony charge for aggravated battery. I think that Brendan should pay for what he did. There are consequences in life to bad actions, bad choices. Her story, unfortunately, is not uncommon. While the severity might vary, more and more teachers are faced with violence in the classroom. Amy Roberts spent 38 years in Duval County Schools teaching the students with emotional behavioral disorders and has seen it all firsthand. Anything from just throwing items or flipping a desk or, you know, being, you know, being angry. The behaviors can escalate very easily. Florida tracks violence in schools, but there isn't a category to track violence against teachers. So Action News Jax teamed up with our sister stations across the country to ask teachers about their experiences with student violence. More than 8,000 teachers in 34 states weighed in. More than 2,500 of them teach in Florida. These days, kids come with a a whole lot of different experiences coming into the school setting, and they're not necessarily positive. And it's not always socioeconomic either. Industry research and our survey confirms it. 65% of Florida teachers surveyed say they've been subjected to physical violence at least once, and almost half say it's happened more than once. For verbal abuse, it's almost universal. Andrew Spar is president of the Florida Education Association. I've seen it, I've witnessed it firsthand, as a teacher myself, uh, but what we're hearing from teachers right now is that it's just out of control. And that behavior has consequences for the workforce and our children. 53% of Florida teachers surveyed say they're afraid to go to school because of violence against them. And 58% surveyed have considered leaving the profession because of it. Spar says experienced teachers are leaving at rates they've never seen before. After low pay, he says student behavior is the number two reason why. The whole teacher and staff shortage is the number one issue that should be concerning every parent, every community person, every voter in the state of Florida. He says teachers need more mental health resources, more support for special needs, and a more consistent approach to discipline. Amy Roberts seconds that. When we were fully funded, we had more manpower. Um, and as that went on, the less manpower we had, it was really important because those children just needed more hands-on and contact from the teacher and an assistant or someone in the classroom. Um, and when those needs are addressed, that tends to curb the behaviors. The St. John's School District responded to our survey results, saying in part safety and security are paramount within our schools for both teachers, students, support staff and administrators. And they also outlined the factors involved in deciding discipline and its zero tolerance policy for crimes and victimization. Duval schools responded, saying in part violence against educators is absolutely unacceptable and it needs to be taken seriously by everyone, including students, parents and the community. They also outlined their disciplinary actions and their security measures. Nassau and Clay districts did not respond and the results of the survey were overwhelming. The things that these teachers said not just here but across the country so we've created a slideshow mm -hmm. for folks to go and just scroll through them because it's really enlightening. Yeah, every district should be paying attention to that survey. Every parent, every yeah, anybody absolutely. who's adjacent to education or involved oh, with sure. it. Yeah. The ripple effects are real. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Emily.